So hi everybody, hope you're all doing really well. Um, welcome back to another video, a bit of a different one for me, this one. I came up, the idea just came in my head and I thought, go with it, Julie. I think it's a good one. I would enjoy watching this. So this video is items I will always get at Aldi because they're good. Aldi, I love Aldi. Aldi do some really, really great things and there are certain things that when I do go into Aldi, I will always get. So we have one, two, three, four, like five food items, three uh, cleany type items, and four like uh, candle skincare type items. Now, I love, if you're a long-term viewer of me, you know, I love my brands. I love, you know, like my Jo Malone candles, um, my Lizelle face wash and all of that. But sometimes, sometimes you just really don't want to spend that much. Sometimes you just want to save your pennies to probably put towards something important. Um, and... The items that I always get at Aldi when I do want to save some pennies are, to be honest, just as good. Um, I hope this helps. If you haven't tried some of the things at Aldi, um, I hope this helps. And I hope, you know, it probably inspires you to try some of the things and maybe save some money also. So let's get straight into it. Um, the first one is quite a classic, but some of you might not have seen this at Aldi. Now, I am a big Lizelle skincare lover. Um, I've used Lizelle for years and years, but as I just said, sometimes you just really don't want to spend, I think, for like a largest tube of cleanse and polish, it sets me back about 30 quid. Um and which is fine but sometimes i just really want to save the pennies sometimes i just don't want to spend that much on a face wash um and i'm not saying that i don't still use lizelle because i do and i probably always will but when i go to aldi i always get this now it's the Lacura Aldi's Beauty Range. Original hot cloth cleanser, um, gently cleanses and exfoliates to leave skin feeling smooth and soft for all skin types. So if you look at the packaging, first of all, you can see it's a complete dupe. They're using the same colors as Lizelle, number one. Um, if you look at the ingredients on the back, it is the same ingredients. They, it has the same ingredients. Um, the tube, a massive tube so looks like that so like I say for this size tube um, cleanse and polish I would normally pay near on 30 pounds this 2.99 so I like to have this in as like as like a backup if I'm running low on Lizelle and if I really don't just don't want to spend 30 quid I'll be honest um, 2.99 and the ingredients are the same and I, I if it was rubbish if it was rubbish, I wouldn't get it. Um, I certainly w wouldn't recommend it. Um, now, I used to get this. I remember the days when I, I couldn't afford Lizelle. Um, so, even though I always loved the stuff, I literally couldn't afford it. So, I would get this from Aldi. Um, this is going back probably, I don't know, four or five years, something like that. And... I used to get this all the time. I'd stock up on it. I'd go in and I'd probably like get five tubes at a time. Um, and it is, it is honestly, it's just as good. Um, it is an amazing, amazing dupe for two ninety nine, and it comes with not that I I never use the muslin cloths anyway. Even the ones I get with Lizelle, um, I always use. Um, I've got um, some white company white face flannels, which I um, keep in a basket um, in the bathroom and I will use a clean one of them each time I um, use a cleanse and polish. I never use these anyway, but it does come with a, 
muslin cloth which feels just the same as the Lizzo ones um I've never actually used these so I, I can't say what this is like but I can say what this is like and for 2 dollars it is worth if you're a big Lizzo user big Lizzo fan um it is worth keeping this you know in the drawer for those times when you just don't want to spend that much money or as a backup if you're running low you know um really really fab it feels good on the skin also when you're taking your makeup off with it it still feels the same I, ca I can't really notice much difference at all so anyway i think i've probably solved this enough so fab 2.99 so that is always something i will look out for when i go into aldi right next one candles yeah candles um now as I've said before, I love Joe Malone as much as the next person. Um, I have some Joe Malone candles, um, but sort of the same as the face wash. I don't always want to spend 50 to 60 pound on a Joe Malone candle. That's how much the size about that size is. Obviously it goes up in price, um, the bigger they are. Um, and I sometimes just don't want to spend that. I want to put my money towards something more important. So, I get these from Aldi, not all the time, but sometimes, and they're good. Okay, they are not as slow burning as Joe Malone, I will say that, and they probably don't come with the 100% scent throw that Joe Malone do. Okay, so I'm not going to sit and say that, but, but the scent throw is good. And they don't burn like super, super fast. They don't burn as fast as the Bath and Body Works ones, which are like £30. So, this scent first. Um, I've had this one before and it is gorgeous. They have slightly, um, you can see, changed their, um, the front of this slightly. But it is still a fab Joe Malone dupe. You know, and these are... I'm going to look at the price. I've got my Aldi receipt with me. $3.49. $3.49. Okay, so $3.49 or we'll say £50 for a Joe Malone one. You know, um, it, these are fab. These are really fab. I mean, I, I think most people do know about these now, but for those of you that have never tried one, and you're a big Joe Malone fan, and that, that they're worth trying. So I've got pomegranate, which is a classic Joe Malone scent. It smells exactly the same. Um, but then that's the same with if you get like the Joe Malone dupe of perfumes at Aldi, um, or um, the rediffusers, which we will talk about in a minute. It smells exactly the same. I love the pomegranate um, scent anyway. It's lovely. Um, two wicks, like that, and it looks, it looks just as nice. And it is three pounds forty nine. So got that one. Totally recommend these candles. Um, and then this one I have never had. So I've got the Freesia and Pear, which again is another Jo Malone classic scent. Um, the perfume freesia and pear is absolutely lovely and this smells again oh this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous for spring it smells i wish you could smell it because you'd say oh my god there's absolutely no difference in the smell um so with this one they have made the front of it green um which i don't know should they have stuck with the classic white label Maybe because it does make it look more Joe Malone, but even so, still very pretty and absolutely wonderful scent. So, them two, £3.49 each, as opposed to £50 each, where you'd be spending like 100 at least for two candles. This was like um, £7. So, great, great dupes. And they look nice. They look nice on a coffee table. They look nice on the side. Fab, fab candle dupes there. So there is one more like household type thing and then we will get to like the food because Aldi do some great food. I like to pick up one of these as well when I need one. These are a fab price also. Um, another Jo Malone dupe. Um, it's the pomegranate um, re-diffuser. 
Again, these smell, they've got a good scent though. I think these have got an excellent scent though. Um, obviously smell exactly the same as the candle. Um, I'm not sure how much a Joy Malone Reed diffuser is. Um, I've never actually bought one. I've got like the big ceramic one over there, what Anna bought me for, I think it was for my birthday, I think. Um, but I've never actually bought one, one of the normal size ones, but I'm going to guess they're probably 40, 50, 60 quid. Um, and this was, let's have a look, £3.59. £3.59, and they do these in obviously all the, the lime, basil and mandarin, which again is another classic Jo Malone scent. Um, so yeah, really, really fab, really recommend them also. So the candles, the hot cloth cleanser, the reed diffuser, great, great dupes. Okay, let's get on to food. Okay, this one looks now, this is interesting because um, the other day, a couple of weeks ago, um, I'd done a test on Atticus. Now Atticus loves his Magnum ice creams. So now it's getting warmer, you know, he likes to come home from school, um, you know, relax, have a Magnum ice cream. Um, and I always buy Magnums, okay? But when I was in Aldi, I noticed they do a dupe. Okay, so you've got four in a pack, and I thought, I am gonna see if he knows the difference. So obviously, when I, um, he says, Mum can have a Magnum, I, these come in a clear wrapper inside as opposed to the Magnum wrapper. So obviously, um, and he did say to me, why is it in a different wrapper? I said, oh, they've just started wrapping them different. He didn't question it. Anyway, he had one. He, he didn't say a word. He didn't say a word. There is no difference. And I actually got myself, um, you can get a box. So if you know you can get the mini Magnum, so you get like two almond, two white chocolate or two um, milk chocolate. So they do the Aldi dupe of the mini box and I got myself them. So I can vouch for it. There is absolutely no difference, but a great big difference in the price. Um, these are, now I think these are one pound something. They're one pound something, I'm sure, um, for four. Now, a while back, I got six Magnums from a supermarket and they were getting on for six pounds. Yeah, a very big saving and honestly, they taste just as yummy and exactly the same. Can't recommend them enough. So that's the first food one. Second one, chocolate. If you have not tried this Aldi chocolate, you need to try it. It is the Choco, so that's their chocolate brand, salted pretzel, milk chocolate. This is so, so good. I always pick this up if I go into Aldi. Obviously they do milk chocolate, dark chocolate, um, I think um, salted caramel, all different flavors. To me, you can't beat this one. It is amazing. Um, for a big bar like this, and it's chunky, it's chunky chocolate, and it's nicely wrapped as well. It's like, it's like boxed up, and then obviously it's wrapped in the foil inside. And the price of the chocolate, $1.99. $1.99 for a big bar of chunky, and it's so good, so good. So I always get that when I go into Aldi. Next one, crisps, I love my crisps. And these are fab. They are the specially selected, um, lightly salted, hand-cooked chips. These are yummy. Now, obviously, they do other flavours also, um, but I absolutely love these ones. These taste just as nice as expensive brands. Um, really, really nice. I love to have these with, like, some peanuts, which I also get from Aldi. Um, but I always tend to pick up these when I go in. The one pound nine for a big bag of crisps and they taste just as good and to be honest, if not better, as expensive brands. Really, really nice crisps, so always get them. Two more foodie type things. Um, always get these for Atticus, he absolutely loves these. He likes these better than any other supermarket. He likes the mini brownie bites. Um, he loves his brownie anyway, but he's very fussy with his brownie. He loves these. He also loves the um, chocolate muffins. They do a big box of chocolate muffins as well. Um, but he really likes these. And these are so much cheaper. Like £1.29, which again are cheaper than other places. And as Atticus will vouch for, just 
as nice. Um, so one more food item. Now these are quite new to Aldi, as in, like I say, new. I've probably bought about three lots of them at separate times, um, but they haven't always done them. Um, coffee beans. Um, now, yeah, I'm fussy with my coffee, and I do like to buy my branded coffee beans. There's all different sorts I like. Um, I like Starbucks um, Blondie coffee beans. I like Bewitched coffee beans. I like, um, if I go to like a particular um, coffee shop and the coffee's nice and I like to get their beans and that, yeah, okay. But also sometimes as well, again, I don't want to pay the price of what um, branded or coffee shop beans can be. And I like to keep some of these in. They are the Al Cafe, which is their coffee brand. Um, house Blend, I always get the House Blend. They do do um, Stronger. I think these are a three and they've got a four and a five, which I haven't tried. Because um, I do like my coffee quite mild most of the time. Um, so I get the House Blend and they're okay. They are okay. Um, I use mine for like my Americanos in the morning. Um, I'll always have two Americanos in the morning and um, they are absolutely fine. And they make a nice cappuccino also. Um, and they're the fab price. $1.99. $1.99 for coffee beans. Okay, it's not a huge it's not a huge bag. Um, this is the only size coffee beans they do. I would get a bigger bag if they'd done them. I'll always get these to keep in the cupboard and if I run low, then I will use these. And 1.99, you can't go wrong. But coffee can be expensive. Coffee beans can be expensive. And you know, when it's one of them things that you're using every day, um, it can get expensive. So another, another way, you know, save some pennies. So they're fab, really recommend them. So they are the food items that I always get when I go in Aldi. And then we will finish with um, wipes, I guess. Now with wipes, we get through a lot of wipes in this house. I, I use a lot of antibacterial wipes, um, toilet wipes we get through a lot of, and also um, still baby wipes. I say baby wipes, but like, yeah, wipes to like keep in the cupboard, in the kitchen, so... You know, sometimes that's because he's eating something messy, you know, he wants to wipe himself or whatever. Um, and depending, obviously, on where you shop, wipes can be a bit, they can be expensive sometimes. But these three types of wipes from Aldi are fab. Now, I try and get them when I can. When I run out, if we say antibacterial wipes, it's always Aldi that comes in my mind first to go there. Sometimes, though, I can't get there, so I will have to get other ones which I tend to end up paying more for, um, you know, and then I'll think, oh, I could have got them from Aldi for blah, 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 you know, and it annoys me sometimes that I do end up paying more. Um, so I'm trying to be more organised in that way, um, so when I do go, I get like a bulk lot. Um, but Aldi's antibacterial wipes, they're the best. If I If I had to buy one brand of antibacterial wipes for the rest of my days, I'd get these. The price of them, the price point, they're really good, they smell nice, they're thick, they're very moist, um, they're fab. So um, this is the, they do the fresh, so the blue um, colour packet, which is like a fresh scent, um, which I get as well. And then these are the citrus ones. And the wipes, you get 72 wipes, which is about what, like the same size as what you'd get in like a Dettol. Um, pack of wipes or um, Zaflora pack of wipes or whatever. So the wipes are, I know they are so inexpensive, £1.9. Let's see, even they've gone up because I swear they were cheaper than that. Anyway, £1.9, still a lot cheaper than if you get a pack of your Dettol wipes for 72 what are you talking, three, three pounds, something like that. Um, so almost three packs of these for the same price as one Dettol pack, and they're really, really good. So when I go to Aldi, I try and stock up on these also. It's a mistake I always do when I go into Aldi though. I should always get a trolley, but nine times out of 10, I'll always get a basket, and then, by the time I get round to like the last aisle, I would have filled the basket up so much I've got no room left in there for like all the wipes and stuff which are on the last aisle that I want to get. I need to get a trolley more often when I'm going to Aldi. So they are fab, so always try and get them. 
then toilet wipes um toilet wipes if you get branded if you get andrex um which they're like a pound at least a packet sometimes um and these are just as good again very moist not dry at all um soft etc um 40 wipes and a really nice scent i actually like this scent it's a lovely fresh scent um which is to be honest nicer than the other ones that's a really nice scent and the toilet wipes are 65 pence which is cheaper than andrex um and just as good so this is the fresh and clean um scent i think they do one more also i can't remember what that is but always try and stock up on them when i go as well and then last thing which i hope will help if there's some um, new mums out there watching or whatever um and um you know you want to know what like baby wipes to get or whatever yes it's always you know tempting to get the pampers and the huggies and all that you know um i did when mine were younger um but these honestly there's no difference they are just as good they also do i just get these ones for atticus now to keep in the kitchen cupboard like i say when he needs to clear himself up after a messy meal if he has spag bowl or something like that um i always keep a pack of these in the cupboard um these are the fragrance ones but i just get any now because obviously he's not as sensitive skin as a baby is but you can get sensitive ones um but i do remember i used to pick these up sometimes also when he was a baby and they're absolute they are so good they are absolutely fine you get 60 white 65p which again i mean i'm not quite sure how much the huggies and all that are nowadays and the pampers but i'm sure they're probably twice the price of that um and these are honestly just as good so they are the items i always get when i go to aldi because they're good they're good um i can recommend all of them and it's like you know if you can save some pennies save some pennies you know like i said i love my brands as much as the next person and sometimes it is really nice to treat yourself but you know I don't really want to buy a Joe Malone candle every time one runs out. I don't, you know, with the Lizzo, yes, I will still purchase it, but I like using this in between also to balance it out. And it's fab. I love Aldi. Love the middle aisle of Aldi. Um, so they are my Aldi items that I always get when I go into Aldi because they're good. Leave comments below. Um on your favorite aldi purchases what you regularly buy what's good um i would really love to know be fun so um yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon for another video bye